so hello everybody once again and in this video i will show you how to automate the process that i showed you in the last video uh, so using this script you can automatically get test cases for any problem on code forces while you are solving the problem in sublime text and then just run fast olympic coding after you have solved the problem so let me sh uh, show you from scratch how you can do this so firstly we need fast olympic coding so just go to install package i un uninstalled that so i can show you from scratch how to do all the stuff it's loading the repos right now so go to fast olympic coding yeah just install that is installed so until it is installing let's go to my github repo mm, yeah. and just download that the background okay that has been downloaded so just go to sublime text it is still installing let's wait for it to finish uh, downloads Here you can see two files. Let's just copy both of them, paste them here. It's still installing. Wait. So let's finish for it to install. And until then, we can place these two files. So, firstly, take the automate.py file, just cut it and paste it in the folder where you solve your question like where you have the main CPU file that you execute so I have it in competitive coding my workspace this is the CPU file that I use so just paste it here automate.py and go back to your downloads and paste the build file uh, into the packages folder so just cut this come to sublime and go to preferences go to browse packages go to user and just paste it here okay so it is here and now you can see the olympic coding has been installed as well so let's close this now open the now open the or now open the settings for the fast olympic coding so let's control shift p uh, go to fast olympic coding go to open settings and add this line here test files test file suffix underscore underscore test uh, this will tell the extension that our, our, our test extension is underscore underscore test okay so after you have done this just add this line to the extension this is very basic uh, that people have been using for years with the uh, coding hook so close this and close this and now we are here so after you have installed the uh, uh, olympic coding hook and have placed the two files just open the python script for one for once the control open open automate.py there as you can see it requires two things uh, four things json this is inbuilt in python 3 url lib this is also in python 3 we need bs4 beautiful soup this is an external module and we need pipe in auto this is also an external module so we need to install these two additionally you can see the file name here is code.cpp underscore underscore test but the file that i'm currently using the file that i'm currently using is solution.cpp so i need to change the name here so replace code with solution uh, let's go down here change it to solution again okay so that has been sorted just save this close this and now open up your cmd mm, and if i do pip list you will see my python packages and by the way uh, make sure you have python 3 for this you can see i have no packages installed so let me install beautiful soup first so go pip install bs4 it will take a second I have installed bs4 now and now install pi vinato
So I misspelled install. Wait for it to finish. It will take some time. Okay, so now PyVinato has been installed. Uh, now we are almost uh, ready to go. So let's just close this. And uh, let's come to course for this now. I will show you an example of how to do this now. Uh, let's try the yesterday contest. This one. Let's start with problem A. Cancel the trains. Now we have the problem opened up here. Just go to here and just start solving the problem and just press Ctrl Shift B for the first time. Go to automate. Just run this. And it will run the test cases in the background. So you can just solve the problem. Just I copy my submission from here. Copy paste and run the cross olympic query it passed the test case now if you want to solve problem b i can do that to go to problem b uh, let's copy the solution from here Make sure you on the problem page. Come back here. Press Control and B again. It will run the test case. It will show finished here when it has finished the test case is passing. So here he has uh, passed the test cases. Now just run the. Uh, now just run the Olympic coding extension. I have not yet set up a. I have not yet set up a hotkey for that. So you guys can do that. So here is the input. And here is the output okay uh, now we have solved this one mm, let's go to the problem c mm, just mm, not copy this copy its solution mm, just keep on the problem page go to your sublime text press ctrl b it will pass the test cases here. Test cases have been passed. Now just copy the solution and press control uh, and sorry and run the Olympic extension. You can set a key bind for the extension. I don't have set a key. I don't have a key bind yet. So here it is. It is not yet accepted because there must be some like spacing error. Let's open the, the open up the test case. Rollo GP test like correct answer there is not a new line here but uh, my solution has a new line so that's why it is not showing accepted to like you need to be very strict in formatting so let's just close this uh, to counter this you can remove this and say If t is greater than zero, if if it this is the last test case, don't do this. Like this will run for only this will run for one, right? So if t is greater than zero, uh, see out and then should work. Mm, and just run the cases. Is not yet being accepted. Uh, well, whatever. Like you need to do something like this. This is the main thing. This.
if solve else then this should work right if p is greater than zero this runs for one then it becomes Five test cases of five, four, three. Yeah, if t is greater than zero, see out and then I know why this is not working, but that is the thing. You need to be very strict in formatting. Let's try problem D now. <coughs> Sorry for that. Go to problem D. And again just come back here. Well this is a this is a problem with multiple answers so let's try another one because this will have multiple answers so it will not be suitable uh, let's go to the ed educational round uh, strange functions okay let's let's just press ctrl b here it will pass the test cases test cases have been passed just copy the solution now Is now an expert on the extent. It has been accepted. So this is a very like automated way. You can also use an extension called multiple commands and bind control B to the build file and it will like first pass the test cases and then run the solution. But you need to pass test cases only once and you need to run the code multiple times. So I suggest you to keep these two key binds different. And when you start solving a problem, just pass the test case using a shortcut key and then just run it after you have solved the problem. So I hope this extension helped you. I think that's it for the video.